Good day. Welcome to Light and Busy Taking His Glory to the Ends of the World. Today's message is captioned, Elders Take Responsibilities. Elders Take Responsibilities. And our team scripture is taken from Romans chapter 5 verse 10. Romans chapter 5 verse 10. Please, I'm reading from the KJV. Paul says, For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Again, For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Leadership at any level is about taking responsibilities. Leaders take responsibilities. Leadership at any level, whether a president, a CEO, a director, a husband, a single mother, pastor, worship leader, cell leader, etc., etc., it's about service and not being served. You have to take the responsibility and the initiative. There are people that when they have issues with the young, they expect the younger to take the initiative for the problem to be addressed. They deem that as the younger having to respect them because they are older. Such is the wisdom of the world. This wisdom is not of God. Oh, there are many old people, especially the culture of this world. That is what is, is, it tends to propagate to many folks. That when I am older and there is an issue, the younger brother is the one who is supposed to make sure that he, he make amends for that issue to be addressed. Such wisdom is not from God. These are wisdom from men. It's fleshly wisdom. And it's not true wisdom at all. Being a leader, being an elder means that you have to take the responsibility to make sure that issues are addressed. That does not mean that you, you shouldn't show the younger that her, he, 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 had, he or she had or made a mistake. You should not correct the younger. But then you have to make sure that that issue is solved. You have to take the initiative to make sure that that issue is addressed. Because you have to understand that when you are loggerheads with the young, you will not take responsibility for issues to be addressed. What happens is that the young will start seeing through his, his or her eyes as you being like a peer. And that same attitude that he has towards his peers, that is the same attitude now he has he's having towards you. You see, peers are those that have those kind of behavior mm -hmm. so you don't have to have such a relationship with the younger for the younger you have to show the younger that i am the leader and how you show the younger that i am older than you am i am a leader is by you taking initiative is by you taking initiative sometimes the same with husbands we think that because we are the head of the house when the offense is on the side of the woman she should rather make amends. It sounds logical, but such are fleshly wisdom. The leader, head, or husband is supposed to take the responsibility and the initiative in making sure that the issue is addressed, even when the offense is not on his or her side. This applies to every level of leadership. Leaders take the responsibility and it's not about being saved. Greatness is about serving. The Bible says, But Jesus called them unto him and said, Ye know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and they that are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Matthew chapter 20 from verse 25 to 27. 
So here our Lord admonishes us that in Christianity, the wisdom you live by as a Christian is knowing that you, the leader, you serve. Leadership is about being a servant. It's not about you being served. When there was a problem between God and man, the great God rather took the responsibility. He took the initiative and not we the offender. Taking the initiative doesn't mean compromising on righteous standards, but making sure that the problem is brought to a peaceful resolution. The Bible says, For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. It says, For if we, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. So when we were enemies, when the sinner was an enemy of God, it's God who took the initiative and delivered up his son. He delivered up his son when the sinner even didn't ask for that. So he took the initiative to make sure that a peaceful resolution is brought to the matter. The question we ask ourselves is that, are we greater than God? Are we bigger than God? You see, are we bigger than God? No. The great God gave us an example to follow as Christians. When the sinner offended God, God rather took the responsibility in making sure that the issue was addressed. He took the initiative. Leaders take responsibilities. When the, old, the elder assume a position of, I am older, so you, the younger or offender, should take the responsibility in making sure that the issue is brought to a closure. It is called carnality, and such a disposition is born out of pride. Great people are the humble, they are the meek. Take the responsibility in anything to ensure that God's desire and will is fulfilled. Merry Christmas.